ব্রাপু বলে আর ইয়াতি করতে জন্ম হয় তাপে মরা দার শান ভাইবে নিশ্চয় শুনিল নিশ্চয় প্রাপ্তি ব্রাপুর শ্রী মুখে মুকুন্ত সিংচিতা হইলা ভারানন্দ সুখে ভাই বো ভাই বো বলি খোরে মহানেতা ব্রিমেত বিবালা হইলা চৈতন্য প্রিয়া If you take another 10 million birth, 10 million births, you will surely receive my audience. Hearing from the Lord's beautiful mouth, he will surely get it. Mukunda was showered by the pinnacle of bliss. He danced frantically and said, I will get it, I will get it. Such is the ecstatic love of Lord Chaitanya's servants. The Lord was then pleased with Mukunda and had him brought before him. Seeing the Lord, Mukunda offered prostrated obeisances unto him, and the Lord mercifully told him, Prabhu bole uto uto Mukunda amara, tilar deka aparata nahiko tomara, kotijan me bhavo heno boli lam ami, tilar deke saptaha kuchaile tumi, Avyarta amara vakya tumi se janila, tumi ama sarvakala ridoye bandila. Get up, get up, my Mukunda. You did not commit even the slightest offense. When I said, he will attain me after ten million births, you wiped out even the slightest offense you had committed. You know that my words always come true. You have captured me in your heart forever. So I thought this would be a very nice start. We are coming to the end of Radharasa Sudanidi. And to begin this glory, this, this glories of this of this end of Shishi Radharasa Sudanidi and the glories of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I thought it is a nice start because this shows actually how full of hope a disciple of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu can be and is, in fact, when he understood what the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is. So I invite you to share your thoughts on that point, and I would be very interested how you see this point. From which point of view your feelings connect with that? If you want, then please share. Otherwise, just to, you know, fill the space of time, I will go on. <laughs> so actually, I thought that Shri Mukunda is showing some very nice point. First of all, his faith in the words of Lord Chaitanya. But second of all, his deep love and connection he showed. If you love a person and you think, now I lost that person or that connection to that person, 
And then you hear that there is a little chance by taking another 10 millions of birth to be close again. Then you are very happy to have this chance, isn't it? If there is love. If there is no love, then you will say, oh, pff, 10 million birds, <laughs> that's too much. But if you dance like him and you are very happy that you have this chance that shows your deep love, isn't it? Yes, there is a chance, there is a chance. I will get it. If we would think now 10 millions of birds, oh my God, no. <laughs> you can see it from other perspectives, isn't it? But Mukunda was dancing in ecstasy and he was so happy and that actually, exactly that point, showed Chaitanya Mahaprabhu his love for him. And that's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is answering like this, get up, get up, my Mukunda, my Mukunda. You did not commit even the slightest offense. When I said he will attain me after 10 million birds, you wiped out even the slightest offense you had committed. Because you know that my words always come true. You have captured me in your heart forever. So because his love is so strong that even 10 millions of birds for him are nothing. Just the word of Lord Chaitanya, you will get it, is enough that he is in ecstasy. So compared to our situation, we don't know how many birds we have to take till we get it, isn't it? So we are in the same situation somehow. When will we get it? And how often in Shri Shri Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi, Srila Prabhupada Saraswati is beginning like this. When will I? When will I get it? When will the time come? Do I have a chance? And Mukunda shows us, yes, we all have a chance. We all have a chance. It's just a question of time. So if you have any thoughts to that or some feelings, please share anytime. Rade, yeah. Rade, Rade. I uh, I wonder how how does it come that we fall into this trap to 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 want to become liberated? That means that ten million birds is absolutely too much. What is our problem? <laughs> Usually, it should be the problem of that we miss the service, the direct seva. This should be the problem. Unfortunately, not always it is really the problem. <laughs> Sometimes it's like we have some list of karma and we want to get rid of that. We want to have more Sukriti. We want to have more connection, more mercy, more 
possibility to reach the goal soon. And if somebody would say, hmm, but you know, in your position, you have to take another 10 million birds. Wouldn't be so easy, isn't it? We wouldn't be so enthusiastic. <laughs> but actually, yes, why? Maybe you wanted to make the point, if we are sure that we, we stay in the service, like, like now, then what's the problem? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, there should be no problem if we see like this. Yes, that's true. You are right. If we can see like this. If we can see that if we at least can somehow stay in connection to Seva, to our Swamini, somehow or other, then even birth in hell shouldn't be a problem. But that needs some experience, isn't it? Yes. I don't know how it's with you. I can only speak for myself. I had some bad experience in the past in the themes of love. So I invested some love from my side and it ended up not so nicely, not like I expected. So I stopped to invest. So I, I got more impersonal. First stay, you know, in some distance whatever happens, see the whole thing. And if you are sure to invest again some feelings, then try it here and there. So I think for me, I'm very unpersonal today. I, I cannot really immediately open my heart to all, all people. And uh, so it needs some some faith, some deep faith, isn't it? So by the experience of Radharani's love, now it's like this, the last years till Gurudev actually opened my eyes, I invest again a little bit. And I see since that time, the end always is very nice, more nice than I expect. So I'm inspired to invest more feelings the next time when the chance comes. And this is actually for me an ongoing process. I'm, I'm just uh, viewing that this is my life. I do something, of course, you know, slowly, <laughs> attentively, <laughs> but I can see there's something coming back, which I, I didn't expect. It's, it must be love. It's so good. It's so pure. It's so merciful. It can only be Radharani's love. And this kind of experience I'm talking about, I think we need. Because this is strengthening our faith more and more, and we invest more and more. Till we come to that point, like Mukunda, he's investing everything, all cards in. Everything I have, I invest. Because I only have only, I have only one goal, and here in Mukunda's, uh, point it is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He only wants to have the association of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sing for him, make his seva for him. He has no other ideas how to invest, where to invest. So he's taking all the cards and one stock and say, when? I'm only interested in that. Do I have a chance? 
And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Yes, ten millions of birds and you are mine. Jai Ho! <laughs> yes! So I think these are the steps for everyone slowly to come to that point. To again invest the whole heart, the whole self. Because the whole heart means actually the soul, myself. I invest myself, I am yours. The wife was me. I am yours, I am yours. And now that you know, know that Swamini, take me, take me. Because I cannot come if you don't take me. And this is the same situation here. And also Sripad is in the same situation. And this actually opens the end of Sri Sri Radharasa Sudhanidhi. I am helpless without you. If you don't take me, what's the use? What's the use of Vrindavan? What's the use of even Krishna? What's the use of anything, liberation or whatever? What to speak of that? What's the use if I cannot get my goal? But I can get my goal. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we have to believe his words. He is saying every individual soul can have that mercy. Every individual soul is made for this kind of bhava. Manjari Bhava. Every individual soul can have that. Are you an individual soul? Or did you melt already with the Brahman? <laughs> because this is the highest state of being, you know, impersonal. <laughs> I lose my identity. I'm giving up my identity. I'm not an individual soul anymore because I merged. But for all others, that's why this formulation is there, I guess, at least but to some extent. That point is also important. So you are an individual soul, but it also has other, other aspects. It also means that Radharani wants us individual. She does not like us, you know, in lines, everything perfect, arranged, everything is the same character and like fascism. It's not a fascistic idea. No, Radharani wants us individual. You are like this, and the other one is completely different. Yes, I love, I love you both like that. And I love you all individual. I want you individual. Because you are part of me. And you all represent a part of me. And I love you like you are. I don't want to have you in another way. I want you like you are. Only like that. Because only then you can full heartedly, full heartedly open your arms and come to me. And this is actually what we should be aware of. It's not a dream. It's not some hope which is in the sky 
and nobody knows if we can get it or not. No, it's the promise of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It's the truth. And this is the difference between me as lost soul and such a soul like Srila Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati. He knows that. He knows that fact. That's why he is praying like that, talking with Radharani like that. Otherwise, how you could do it if you are not sure? How you can say, Hey Radharani, what is this Vrindavan Dham to me? What are all these processes of bhakti to me? What is even Krishna to me? If I cannot get your personal service, everything on one stock. I am yours. I am yours. Now take me. And then I can say, you are mine. Because in that moment when I'm yours and you accept me, then I can say, yes, and you are mine. Because there's a consequence. And the consequence is, when you are mine, I have to take care of you. For Ararani, no problem, <laughs> but for us, can we take care of her? So it needs these little steps to that point, this little improvements, isn't it? Radhe, Radhe, my dear. Radhe, Radhe, Raseshwari. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm the last time I'm in so many Zoom classes and my heart and my mind is fully, <coughs> I cannot say disturbed, but I'm unbelievably hap unbelievable happy about this opportunity. And since yesterday and now this class with you, it make, <coughs> um, there is a question. Um, when, when Lord Chaitanya says everybody has this opportunity and everybody can, uh, can become a manjari, how can the Leelas happen when there are only manjaris? When there are no Sakis, no, uh, Yashodama, and, 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 the, and Sakas and all, and the Gopis. And yesterday, Harun Baba, I, I hope that I understand him well. He said that every individual soul can take, can have different swarups. I'm not sure if he meant from Panchatattva or the really elevated holy souls, or if he meant we also, we can be manjari and maybe if it's possible, we can be someone else in the in the transcendental world if they need someone or how it how it doesn't work how it can it sorry for my english I, i'm when i'm so emotional i don't find the english words for it also ich sag's mal auf deutsch wie kann es möglich sein dass that, that everybody can be manjari and how can there be the Leelas with so many different baths. So first of all, we see that actually we are speaking now of this world, right? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying this in the scriptures in our world now here. So that's not all souls. It's a bunch of souls, actually a small part. 
And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not coming every Kali Yuga. He is not always offering to everyone. And the souls are here and there, everywhere in the creation. So it will never come to that point that, you know, it's like that, that every soul in the country, first of all. But this is only from the material point of view. It's not, not very elevated uh, uh, way to see it, actually. Because in a transcendental world, everything is possible. And like we heard yesterday, um, there are different, I mean, I have one example also for, for yesterday for this. Um, how do you see a person actually? So are my, is my vision from Raseshwari, from you now, the same vision like uh, Suniti is seeing you? No, it's completely different, right? But you are the same Raseshwari. So you have already two completely different relationships, right? With me and Suniti. And of course, with all the others here. And again, others. So actually, is what, what is the truth now? Which relationship with you is the truth? Can you ask this question? Or is it somehow weird to ask this question, even on this material platform? But another example, there is a mother and she has 100 children. Doesn't she have 100 individual relationships with every child? Does not every child see the mother in a completely different way? Isn't it the but same mother? Are, it's the same mother, but they are all children. And they are not, not the, the mother of her or the husband or whatever. They are all children. You think like that, yes. But they can play. I am your mother, mama. Now I am your mama. Hmm. And you are my child. That's Leela. That's game, that's play. So where we want to exist? We want to live in the Leela. So in the Leela, everything is possible. So I just want to say that examples because whatever you think about this, it will never end in anything very clear because actually it's endless possibilities. Even on the material platform, what to speak of the, of the spiritual realm, so it doesn't make any sense to really think about this. <laughs> yes, you are right. <laughs> there are too much limitations in my thinking. Better not to think about anything. <laughs> in, all of, in all of our uh, thinking, <laughs> that's the point. We should actually just play. Brother Rani wants us to play. My child, play, be happy. Play with me. Come with me. Come in the Nikunsh, Nipriti Nikunsh. Come with me, play with me. It's not like, you know, they're standing there and checking you up, you know, like if you do something wrong, you will go again in the material world, you know, and you will stay there for another 10 millions of births. It's not like here, you know, it's not like military things like here. It's love, it's prema, it's unlimited love, it's funny. We are in, in, in the playtime with our mother, and that's why we don't see her as mother. She is not our mother in that time. She is our dear friend, a bit older. We are very proud to have such a girlfriend, and we serve her in a very intimate way. And we can start to play here also. I think. Yes, why? why not? Here yes, it's I also a game. <laughs> here it's also a game, isn't it? The whole existence, it's described three fourth of the whole existence, three parts of four, three fourth, are spiritual. 
without any clouds in the sky, very clear Brema everywhere. And one fourth, this part is the material existence. And there, actually, there are the clouds of the false ego. What does it mean? It's like a children playroom. Every child is playing something. I am God. No, I am the princess of the world. And I am this and I am that. And uh, this is the false ego. We are just playing a game here. But my dear, this do? sounds so nice, but when I do my seva here, I do so many offenses, and I think, oh my God. There are no offenses in Brema. In Brema, they doesn't exist. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu do not accept any offenses. Forget about offenses. Nitai Gauranga do not accept any offenses. We know that. In Prema, there are no offenses. Only if you do without Prema. You call me, for example, Oh, I invite you, I will cook. Then I come, you're not there, nothing to eat, nothing. That's an offense. So if you call Radharani, I want to play with you. I want to be in a relationship with you. But then you turn it the back to her. Oh, what a nice car. Oh, what a nice. Oh, my God. Oh, this how many is <laughs> That's an offense. <laughs> but there is no prema inside of me. Prema is the highest. I'm happy when I have an open heart. Like, I know this from my material point. Yes, and there's also no money inside my heart. And there's also no house inside my heart. And there's nothing inside my heart. And anyway, I think it's mine. Yeah. What's the difference? Brema just... belongs to Brema. What's the difference? You get it from Brema. It's not your Brema. That's why we need this Audarya. We need the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to get this Prema. But it's already connected in your heart. There's some installation in your heart. The basic installation for Prema is already there. So Swamini just has to make like and then it's there again. Because it is already there. Isn't it? You all know this verse. Nitya Sita Krishna Prema. It's there already. Because we are the children. We are spiritual. Yes, Krishna is spiritual, yes. But I am also. I'm his child. I'm in the same family. I belong to him. What's the point? Why I separate me from him? That's my Maya, that's my illusion. Prabhupada said clearly, what you separate from Krishna, that's Maya. What you separate from Krishna. You see something separate from him, that's Maya. There's nothing, nothing, really nothing outside of love existing. Nothing. Show me anything. Show me one thing which is not love. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little bit enthusiastic about this point, but I, I love it. Thank you very much. <laughs> the others also look. <laughs> love does not accept any offenses. But the point is, this 
thoughts about, oh, I'm so offensive, I'm so fallen. Actually, this is creating offenses. Because then I think, oh, I'm not worthy to speak with Radharani. But if I'm not worthy to speak with her, to cook with her, to do something with her, then well, what I will do? I will do it without her. That's an offense. If I call her and then do it without her. Yes, we can say that's an offense. But it comes from the thought, I'm not worthy to be loved by such an elevated person like Swamini. But I am also such an elevated person because I belong to her. I am holy like her. I am spirit like her. Yes, she is my mother. She is the source of me. That's true. I'm not like her in that sense. But my nature is like her. Children come after the parents, isn't it? So we are all spirit. That's the point. We just have to accept this point. We are always loved. But because we were hurt so many times in this material life, we don't want to invest feelings. That's why we stay unpersonal in some corner. First, look what will happen. Hmm? Don't invest any feelings now. Later you can invest, but not now. And then you will never invest. This is like the same thing like it was going on. If you are on the platform, then you can go in Raga. Yes, but first you have to be perfect. Because you will never be perfect, you will never be in Raga. So we need to be in Raga completely unperfect like we are. And then we can get perfect through the relationship with Swamini. And yes, we will do mistakes because we are little children. We don't know what to do. We have no idea. But how often, Gurudev said, Mama accepts the baby with pipi and kaka or without. If the baby is doing something wrong, Anyway, always. So just imagine this situation. You are a mother. There is your child, some 50 meters far. And the child is making like this, Mama, 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 Mama. How long you can stand there without taking your child on the arm? How long? What to speak of Brahma in person? She is just waiting that we do like that. We are sure that she will take us. Guravani ji. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe Dayanidhi. <laughs> I, <laughs> I like so much this, this your point that uh, offenses, to think, to make offenses, actually provoke the offenses. 
So I will put, if we put uh, this point together with uh, what we hear before from Mukunda data, how it's going together. Uh, somehow I feel that uh, all, all these two examples, one what you said and example of Mukunda data, make uh, mm, are, are ideal to, to form our spiritual identity and uh, to know how is the mind and heart of realized souls. So if you can put together these two things and to explain a little bit. Thank you I so thought much. you I thought you will 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 put it together for us now. <laughs> I'm just I'm just trying to put I put deep deeply inside of me but still is in process of working. <laughs> I, I don't have final pro, uh, final uh, how's that product. <laughs> I, I think you said it already. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself is saying he himself he said you did not commit even the slightest offense. He himself is telling here, you did not commit even the slightest offense. When I said he will attain me after 10 million birds, because it was over a third person, that's why he's talking like when I said that he, you wiped out even the slightest offense. You wiped it out. Why? Because of the reaction. He was dancing. Yes, I will attain. I will get it. I will get it. By that reaction, even if he would have done millions of sins, it would be wiped out. Why? Because he's dancing in love and ecstasy that he will come home. And this is what Radharani wants us. We want to come home. We love to come home. We really want, we need to come home. We miss her. That is wiping out all offenses. We are living on our daya, on nothing else. We are living from the drops of honey which are coming from our Swamini's lotus feet. And this drop of honey is filled with her love, filled with her love for her beloved, and filled with her love for us as manjaris, serving her in that love. And this is the connection, this is the audarya. It's reaching down to the lowest point in the universes, and in the same time it's reaching up to the highest point. This is audarya, this is unique love, this is completely Madanakya Mahabhav, this is the highest Mahabhav and it's reaching down to the lowest points. If this is not our Darya, what is it then? This is the pinnacle of love directly before us. And we have to only say, Yes, I want but full-heartedly. And this is my problem here. I cannot say full-heartedly, yes, Swamini, I want nothing else but that. So that's why I have to practice more, clean my heart more, do the bhajan, Hear about the souls who are clean. Hear about such souls. 
have association with such souls, have association with souls like our, our Raghunadas, who went there already. Our friend, he was with us, going the same way, begging him, now he's there, please help me, cleaning up my heart more, begging Gurudev, begging all the persons, all the souls who are really connected. This is our only chance. Showing that we really want. Then how long Swamini can stand there and not taking us on her lap to her breast? So Gauravani, uh, seems to be that uh, process of Paidi Bhakti and spontaneous love actually are a uh, two-way which will never touch each other. Even if we say that even one who is on spontaneous uh, path also doing some uh, by the process. But actually, uh, my feeling is that actually this is two-way. Uh, they, they will never touch each other. My feeling is that why the, this process of thinking about offenses is actually to stay here in this material world and to be a pious person. Uh, so uh, Krishna or I will not say rather <laughs> is somewhere else and I'm here and it's okay, it's like that. But in this process of Raga spontaneous, we are just uh, feeling that we are she she's my and I'm her and there's nothing else. So th this is my feeling that actually Vaidhi Bhakti will always always take us in material world because this is what we want to have some distance, right? This is something what come to me after you say this first, yeah. Yes, I also feel like that. To some extent, maybe not fully, but to 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 some extent, I I, I would say like that. Yes, why the usually with all these rules and regulations, it's usually it's religion, and religion, as we know, we perform to get more possibilities to enjoy because it's the usual way of dharma arta kama moksha so first we do religion then we get some more benefits materially we enjoy and then we want to be released because then the reactions will come and then we want to be released so <laughs> that's the normal circle but because it's it's connected with Sanatan Dharma, there is a bridge. There is a bridge to Raga. So I think I can understand your feelings and uh, I, I can say yes to that feelings, 100% to these feelings, yes. On the other side, there is of course the possibility by Vaidhi Bhakti to, to jump to Raga. In my case, without uh, this process in his con, in the end, I was sitting in front of Radharani, Radha Krishna deities, and I was singing Radharani's name, although it was prohibited to sing so long Radharani's name without Krishna's name. And I was chanting four hours, and after that day, my life completely changed. And I, then I understood what is Radharani's position. And that only through Radha we can come to real bhakti. Without Radharani's mercy, no way of Radha. 
But there was this little bridge from YD. If I wouldn't have made this process true, this point would, wouldn't be reached. Now you can say, but so many others are here and they did not. Yes, not in that life. But they were maybe more happy than me. They did it already in some other life. And they came. They came like that, prepared already. Next life, <laughs> I will go only in Raga. <laughs> Forget about this variety. <laughs> and so many people I, I, I meet, they tell me like that, you know. I don't know. I never made any religion, but I don't like it. But when I hear from Radha, yes, wow, I want. But religion they would never ever accept. I mean, also I'm together with one person. She also told me straight, religion, no, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Stay away with that. <laughs> Rade. Rade, Rade. Rade. Sorry. Uh, I would like to share something, but it's a pretty hard story, but it's really hurt something with uh, this distrust and uh, like everything uh, is love. And what when uh, we have fear? And uh, please, if somebody has something to say later, just say. Uh, as I said, it's very hard story because it's going like this. I had a friend, I have a friend, uh, she's in uh, Christ community and she all, she she sometimes is doing like really good and then she needs more help. She is, she was mother of free child and, um, and she needed help because she just needed some practical help. And now I'm thinking she didn't probably get it, but also she always in the last days, especially when she was very tired. She spoke to very, very, uh, her, her soul was very sad. She didn't ask for any help and her fear just rouse and rouse. Fear that somehow she will uh, lose her children because of social office. But she didn't do nothing wrong. She was afraid because of something else. But it's re really this long period, like, was everything, everything good. Like, more than, like, 10 years. I don't know. And just was some old fear. And uh, she didn't want to talk to anybody, in fact. And we didn't call her. I, I called her in one moment, and ten, 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 10 days I didn't. I don't know if it was a distance or, okay, I lost my father, so I wasn't ready. But as you said, if you don't do it now, you won't do it later. So what happened? Day, night before Christmas on 24, she, she, she lost one, her child, in an accident that actually she provoked, talk, obviously, they don't want to talk about it. And ch children's child names was Emmanuel after Jesus. And and many of people don't know this story because I talked to her on phone on 16th and I, I know about that fear. And my words obviously wasn't enough, anybody words before some she works on her and there were a lot of changes but in that moment this those last days she just lost herself in fear and she went on one trip probably wanting to have a nice and better than fear holidays but on a way this thing uh happened and she has still am amnesia she doesn't know what happened maybe better because i don't know now how how to how anybody can cope with this that Actually, was uh, maybe it was some practical cause of um, in the car. If if she uses mobile, somebody says that, and you know this is like totally killing for one psycho. That uh, I mean, not psycho, psyche, psych, uh, psycha. So it's really possible, you know. It's really sound like hard, very hard school, and it's a story that if we if we can take it, that we really miss trust. What can happen if it's really true? It sounds like uh, some some uh, some fairy tale, but it's really happened, and I believe it's uh, has something with this. What are you talking about? That we are provoking uh, our destiny so to the death. 
Yeah. Actually, it's called the law of attraction. Yeah. Mm. You feel <laughs> love, you, you attract love. You feel fear, you attract fear. And of course, you can say, yes, it's also a karmic thing. It was maybe because of the past. Yes, everything is true. Maybe she felt that it will come. But anyway, the fear, when the fear is there, it's a feeling. And the feeling wants to do something with you. It's not there because you, you have to, to depress it or uh, ignore it. Feelings are a call from the soul or a call from the highest soul to your soul. So if you don't hear and you don't act through their feelings, then you will always be a loser on this path. Because feelings are there to give you the chance to move, to change, to change everything. You can even change your karma. You can even change Parapta karma. We know if we actually hear the call. And the call is, you have fear? Okay, do something. Do something, yes. Whom you can give this fear? Whom you can give? We know. It's Radharani. We would just go to Mama and say, Mama, I'm in fear. And then Mama will say, Oh, no problem, my child. Don't think about it. I will take care. Thank you that you told me all of, of your fear. And I will take care now. And I will also talk with Papa. And we will take care both. So please be at ease. Just play. And we will take care of your problem. You don't have to fear now anymore. Okay? But if you don't connect with the source who can take your fear and change your life, then you are alone with your fear and then you will attract. And then it will happen. That's the law of attraction. So feelings are there to let you do something, the right thing. All feelings are leading to good. I always say like this, all feelings are leading to good. But if you ignore them, it cannot lead to anything good. Even if you have hatred in you, to, uh, let's say you hate a person, but you cannot tell anybody about that and you cannot express your feeling, that's not good. But even if you hate something, someone and you can express it, it will lead to something good. Because then, when it is expressed, it can be discussed. We can see how we can handle it. Maybe there was a misunderstanding. Maybe there is a bigger problem. But at least we can work on the problem. So every feeling leads in the end, if you stand to it, it leads to a good, to a very nice solution. And we have all connection. We have Radha on our side. There is no problem we can not share with Swamini. There is no problem so big that love cannot take care of. Brahma is the highest power. It's even more high than God. So even the laws of God are under Brahma. But you have to share your feelings with the right persons. Open up. Invest your faith. This is the point. But usually we don't, because we have bad experience. And this is the point. We have to come out of this impersonal treatment of ourselves and others and open our hearts again to the right persons, not to anybody to the right persons. And it doesn't have to be very loud. If I'm ashamed to all, of other, to all others, okay, then I should talk with Radharani. And she will send the person who will help you. 
I'm sure I see it in my life. I see it in so many lives. And we tend to say, yes, we help people. Yeah, I know I don't help people, but people come for help and I connect them with Nitai. And Nitai always helps because Nitai is the, the biggest source of Radharani's love in this world. He can change everything. For him, no problem. Karma, no problem. He's Mahavishnu. What he cannot change? What he cannot take care of? We are just lost because we lost ourselves. If we don't lose ourselves, take ourselves here and take this guy to the lotus feet of Nitai somehow. Tell Nitai, he's there. And then solution will be there, 108%, no doubt. But like I said, we have to make these experiences. That's why slowly we can invest. But if some hard things are coming in life, we, we usually would say, oh my God, how this can happen to me? Then take it for a good chance. Yes, it will be a shock in the first moment, but you know, Bring your thoughts together in one way to Nitai's lotus feet. Offer all your problems to Nitai's lotus feet and say, I'm helpless. I'm completely helpless. It's up to you. And I can say from my own experience, I was in this situation in life where I thought, I really thought first time in my life, that's it. I have no solution. It was such a situation where I could not find any solution. I thought that's it. It's done. I'm burned. I'm burned out completely. I will never come up. I was completely helpless. And today I'm so happy that this situation came in my life. Because it changed my life from hopeless to hopeful. That's why we need this humbleness. Humbleness means also helpless. I'm helpless. I cannot help myself. How can I help myself with a nutshell on an ocean when the wind is strong <laughs> and the waves are high? <laughs> I can only send an SOS. <laughs> Swamini, <laughs> I send an SOS to your lotus feet. <laughs> I hope you get my message in the bottle. Huh? <laughs> This is taking shelter. Taking shelter. I mean, just think about the words. Shelter. Who can give us shelter? Take shelter. Take it. It's there.
I take shelter by your lotus feet, by all of your lotus feet, I take shelter. In every Zoom, again and again, I take shelter because I'm helpless. You are connected. You are all connected with Prema. Through the mercy of Gurudev, through the mercy of Nitai Gauranga, through the mercy and the Audarya of our Swamini. And how many times actually we experienced it already? I know Radhadasyam, sometimes they were written, oh, my mama is very sick, or my uncle is in, has some trouble, or whatever. So many occasions were there. And always it went out good, even if the person died, but with the blessings of the devotees. What can be more good? When devotees are giving you all their good wishes, even though you never ever did anything yourself. Just some uncle or some devotee maybe never chanted himself, but gets all mercy. Next life he will chant. Next life he will be in this position to have association. What a blessing. To be with Suniti, to, for example, is always the, the, the highest blessing. To be with Dayanidi, with my Yoga Shakti, or with all other devotees here. This is the most highest blessing. Because you stick to Swamini's lotus feet. And you may say, yeah, I'm doing nothing, I'm helpless. Yes, I'm also. So, at least we are a bunch of people helpless sticking together. It's not any more nutshell. It's at least some big, so a lot of nutshells together. Hmm? They have more chance. <laughs> I, I even I even start to 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 feel that uh, okay maybe this community our community doesn't doesn't use these praying modus for each other sometimes yes and sometimes I miss it but as you said if we have strong feeling of staying staying like not shells on one uh, whatever wave <laughs> um, it sounds like. Uh, Praying, in fact, like praise for each other. If we are aware of that, right? I mean, it's yes. for me, it means. <laughs> yes. I believe that many people, they, they are not like, you know, this Christian priests on TV, you know. Now let us pray together. Yes, yeah, Jesus, come and help him. And like this, you know, not making a big show. They're usually praying in their hearts, very silently, because they have soft hearts. They read in Radhadasyam, and they may not even answer. But inside, immediately, they pray, Oh, Radharani, please, help this person. I can feel that. And for me, this is more love than you know making a big show big words but nothing inside i like to have a lot of inside and the shell around can be very simple the cover can be very simple doesn't have to be packed very you know 10 times 100 times make it bigger You see, Swamini is also here. You saw it? Just on the screen. 
So I think this is the right mood, actually. Shila Prabodhananda Saraswati is taking shelter at the lotus feet of Swamini. Now he left his mercy for all the souls. So in the same way, Sripad humbly holds the desire for relishing the sweetness of Radha's playground Vrindavan in his heart, even in millions of birds. Then there would be millions of Radharasa Sudanidis extended versions. Like Ragunadas Movilap Kusamanjali. Because they are already at home, although it seems that they are here. And the same is with Mukunda here in this example. He is already with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You cannot split him anymore. Not possible. And even if he would have to take 10 millions of birds, no problem. Let me go into hell. But please let me stay at your lotus feet, serve you in some way. Wherever you send me, I am yours. And I will just go on to serve you. So, and therefore, to one day, to say this full-heartedly, we need these little experiences. We need the problems in our life. If everything is always going smooth, you know, like, nothing will really change. At least I can see in my life, I can speak for me. But if problems are coming, then, oh, Swamini, 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 help, help, help. And then some topic is coming up. I get aware. And then I pray for help. And then another point comes and everything is nice. And then I'm lullaby again. And then again, problem. <gasps> yes, oh, yeah, yeah, Swamini, Swamini, please, please, please. <laughs> like this. And by the time you get used to, before the problem comes, Swamini, 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 <laughs> something is good. Swamini, 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 whatever happens, Swamini, Swamini, Swamini. And this is the point. No separate existence anymore. Something good must be Swamini. Something bad must be Swamini. Swamini's mercy. In any case, it's Swamini's mercy. But we have to experience. Only by again and again and again and again and again and again and again going to that. One day we will be completely determined, completely fixed. Like Raguna does. His vows, they were like you hammer a line in a stone. If you hammer a line in a stone, it's there. It's not movable. 
You can throw the stone, but the line is still there. <laughs> Even if you crack the stone, still the line is there, <laughs> but it's there. So it needs a hammer. And this is actually our life gets hammered. So say yes. If some trouble comes in your life, don't say no. Say yes. Thank you, Swamini. I know it will lead to something good. Although I'm usually not really happy in the first time, but in the end. Like now we moved from a big place for atelier, atelier. Mm -hmm. We moved to a smaller place. A lot of work, a lot of endeavor. Nobody is inspired to do that. Go through all these little things, you know, you have in the cellar and you have in this big atelier, everything in the corner. And you didn't look for two years on it, but now you have to take every part in your hand again and look. You need it or not? Can you maybe give it to someone? Have, do you have to throw it? Or what you are doing with that now? Like this is our life. There is something from some old stuff. So now Swamini is giving you in the hand. You want it still or you want to give it up? Oh, Swamini, I want to give it up. Yes, I think it's good. You don't need it anymore. Okay, Swamini, then give it to someone who needs it. <laughs> But in the end, everything is very nicely organized and you have a new atelier. You know, every little thing where it is completely organized nicely. It's a fresh beginning. And we want to have a fresh beginning at Radharani's Lotus Feet. Surf her. Nicely organized for the rest of our existence. So it will lead to something good. We didn't came far now. <laughs> Maybe it takes a little bit longer till we finish rather than see the movie now. So the next quote I found is in verse number 228. It's about the bashful Radhika. I mean, this is also one point. This is so amazing for me still. And I heard first time that Radharani is very bashful. Isn't that amazing? Even Krishna is serving her lotus feet. She is the highest.
sorry, Gravani, what is what means bashful? Very shy. Mm, okay. Shyly looking and feeling like I have nothing to give. I'm not qualified. Why is coming to me? So many girls are much more qualified. Or he's looking at me. Oh. She is playing with the feelings. Of this Mukunda. Very sensitive. Huh? Yes. Mukunda can free everyone, right? But he himself is not free. <laughs> By the bashfulness of Radharani, he's captured, completely bound. He cannot move his eyes. And Swamini makes a bashful gesture, is looking down very shyly. He is getting crazy. Because she loves him so much. And in the same time, everything is so hidden. They are not allowed to look at each other. So it's such an intense situation, actually. In every, in such an intense situation, actually, you know the situation when you are, uh, how we say, under electricity, we say, you have to be aware of every little detail that no one gets you. Like you are a thief, you want to take something, and now you are watching all the details, every little thing. Maybe the police comes, maybe someone sees what you are doing. You know, very intense situation. You are not allowed to do that. You are a criminal or something like this. Very intense. And this in love, in the highest exchange of love. This connection makes it very intense. Every little movement is seen. And not only seen, it is actually like you feel it with all your senses. So Swamini is playing with the heart and with all the senses of her beloved in every little movement. Also with her bashfulness, of course, especially. Bashful Radhika casts a startled glance at Krishna in everyone's presence. A startled glance, not a very clear glance from Swamini. Bashful Radhika, a very startled glance. Therefore, Sripad uses the word Chakita in the text. Seeing Radhika's wonderful effulgent beauty, Sripad says, Devi. Devi Kohe Chyottamana Parama Sundari. Devi means effulgent and most beautiful girl. most beautiful. Her beloved, he cannot take his eyes away from her. 
And even if she just looks very, very little on him, just for a very short moment, this will shake his existence. The wonderful flood of her luster does not just inundate all the three worlds. Even a single drop of this flood can inundate Krishna's heart and take everything away from him. Everything, even his consciousness, he will fall unconscious. Because the Lord steals everyone's mind with his beauty and his sweetness, he is named Hari. Srimad Bhagavat 10, 16, 36 states that Krishna attracts the goddess of fortune from Vaikuntha and he astonishes even himself with his beauty. But Srimati steals even his mind, even from a distance. Not only his mind, but also his intelligence, his heart, and his life. Therefore, who can describe the power of her love, her beauty, and her sweetness? Durat, even from afar, that means Krishna is looking Radharani is far away, her eyes down, and just a little blink of the corner of her eyes, from far away, moves his heart tremendously. So that's the situation. And now there comes the connection with the verse. O Sridam, Subal, Rishab, Stoka Krishna, Arjuna, and all other cowherd boys, what did you see? Although she is not the presiding goddess of the Kunja, some indescribably startled goddess who inundates all the worlds with the flood of her elegance has stolen everything from your dearest friend. Krishna's Rasika enchantment. So who can enchant Krishna like that? Only Radhika. And Sripad is saying very boldly, Hey, friends from Krishna, did you see anything? <laughs> what did you see? Hey, Sridam. Hey, Subal. Hey, Brishab, Stuka, Krishna, Arjuna, and all other cowherd boyfriends, what did you see? Did you see how she stole the heart of your dear friend just by slightly moving her eyes, shyly looking in bashfulness?
देवी को है जो तमाना भारमा भारमा सुंदरी भारमा सुंदरी सुंदरी मींस ब्यूटीफुल मोर देन ब्यूटीफुल बट लेट्स से ब्यूटीफुल बट भारमा सुंदरी इट्स द बिगिनिंग ऑफ ब्यूटी एंड इट्स द एंड ऑफ ब्यूटी इन वन थिंग Parama Sundari. There is nothing more beautiful than that. Devi ko hai jyotamana Parama Sundari. Devi means a falchion and most beautiful girl. even one ray of her effulgence is moving the heart of hari is stealing the heart of hari so the biggest thief is bereft his heart was stolen and his life was stolen by even a slight bashful movement of radhika this is the truth this is the real existence and although it is not our rasa this is our mama our mother this is our shelter the more we understand that the more we would we will be astonished paralyzed we cannot believe is it really this is our mother and we want to go back and play with her not as mother in lila in rasa but first we have to understand that we belong to her So let us stop this stupid game here this blaze here useless i mean not really useless we learn something but in comparison to that games there to this lila ras there it seems to be useless So what do you feel about this here? This is not useless my dear this is sadhu sangha and guru dev says this is the most important for us <laughs> have sadhu, sadhu sangha <laughs> and to share and to ask and to listen and to remember our swamini Kinchay Sadhu Sangha, Kinchay Garavani. Jai, this is Rasheshwari. You see, no one can defeat her. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday when um, Udava Prabhu gave this new one uh, Zoom Sangha in the morning, we talked about feeling of uh, shame and feeling of guilt in our humans have blockage, blockages us. And in fact, we mentioned a lot really really good comments uh, deep comments from hardware that um, guilt comes really from outside and like uh, from mind and like rather rani can not feel guilt but she feels uh, bashfulness and she feel ashamed in a, in a, this way that what can we do concerning our feeling of uh, sh shame connect somehow with uh, her feeling that uh, this 
if 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 she can if 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 she feel fear of of, of shame, we can connect with this feeling, and this really help us to go through our fears, through our shame. Uh, something happened when when really you connect. I, it's my experience also when you connect, when you allow yourself to feel like that, because also she can feel like that. So why you shouldn't? And just ask for help, like. Her, she has help of manjaris in these situations, and why won't we then have uh, accept some help and ask for help? <laughs> yes, that's a wonderful point. She is not ashamed. I mean, she's going in the night in the forest, a married girl. meeting with that boy with this blue and everyone everybody knows who this krishna is you know i mean he's going for every woman he's a womanizer and we help radharani and we are not ashamed and she's also not ashamed Because it's a rasa lila. Nothing has to be shameful. Although we play like this. The same is here. Your eternal soul. Nothing can happen here. Nothing you have to be ashamed. Even if you kill someone, what you kill? It's like you break a Lego house. Huh? You know this Lego? These plastic stones, houses? You break it. What is the loss? Soul always exists. It's just a game. There are two, two different games we can play. We are Tatashta. We can choose. Like Gurudev said, choose your madness. You want to be mad in the Lego world or you want to be mad in the Lila in the Lila Rasa with Swamini. Choose your madness. I think this is what we have done. That's why we are here. We have chosen. <laughs> we want to be mad like Swamini when she is mad after her beloved. We want to be mad after her seva to help her in that. In the only way to do it is to connect with Radha. And this is always the solution. And again, we, we heard every feeling is leading to a good thing. We are ashamed. Okay, we feel it. Okay, we give it to Radha. We connect with Radharani. Then it comes to a good end. You see, we have to feel and we have to connect. That's the point. Feel and connect. Don't be ashamed for any feelings. It's anyway not yours. Like you just said, it comes from outside. It comes, it comes from the material world. It's not yours. People say you have to be ashamed because of... <laughs> Yes, I'm so ashamed. The only thing I'm ashamed of is that I'm still here, although I already heard about Radharani's grace, her mercy, her sweetness. I have the Audaria here, but I couldn't make it back. 
This is my shame. And this is luckily connected with Radharani's mercy. Thank you for this. Yes, we have to feel and we have to connect these feelings with Radha always. That's always the solution. And every feeling leads to Radha. Every feeling leads to Radha. What feeling of a child leads not to the mother if the child openly feels it and tells it? Oh, Mama, I'm ashamed. It leads to Mama, isn't it? Oh, Mama, I'm hungry. Yes, it leads to Mama. Oh, Mama, I'm in fear. Yes, it leads to Mama. Whatever you feel, it leads to Mama, isn't it? Because the source of your feelings is Brahma herself. This is the mother of us. And with her, we will go into Brahma. Rasa, Rasa Lila, dive, jump, have fun, play with her, endless, forever, forever and ever, I will serve your lotus feet, oh Radha, forever and ever, so, I think this was enough show for today. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me. No, no, great. Forever and ever. <laughs> Forever and ever you can continue. Thank you so much, Rani, <laughs> for your love and hope and the smile you gave to us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you all. What I feel is more, more and more you, or you all share your feelings. And I was waiting for this moment, actually, because it's not just a few people who can share. Mm -hmm. We should all share our feelings because they are so precious, like gems. On a feelings. trail of festival of feelings, Chaitanya. Yes. Yes. We should share. This is the wish of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And then our hearts open faster and can connect again faster with our real existence. Because we have a Bhava Deha, Bhava Deha. Our body is existing only of the highest transcendental feelings. So let us start with whatever feelings are there and connect them always with Radha. And in this way, we will be like, lift up. Jai Shri Radha. Thank you so much for opening your hearts and sharing so deeply. Jai Jai Shri Radha.